Consultant Eugene Challenge Design. She spent 15 years and a half in New York City between Brooklyn and Queens. A New Yorker by heart. And after spending so many years living in the States, born and raised in the Dominican Republic with Chinese heritage by both parents very thankful for her heritage uh, i am so excited that you are here lily we had so many things in common welcome thank you thank you so much uh jenny you are so kind to have me in your um in your streaming in this interview i'm so excited to be here i mean i was so excited that you are always supporting women and that's something that i really care about that you're supporting other women who are trying to um, get their business their message across and there are women who care about other women as well that's what i i like to support thank you thank you jenny i'm so excited thank you and i just want to add that um about uh, advocating and helping other women uh, mm. thank you for your tips about the challenge i am applying it and it's been a success uh, okay. i am yeah i am having more clients thanks to your tips so thank you so much for your help and tips. I really, really, really appreciate your help. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that you are getting, you know, good advice and it's working for you. That's what it counts. We should always celebrate other people's successes. We should not be like, um, you know, we should not never be like oh she's successful why i'm not successful we shouldn't be like that we should always celebrate others we should always be happy that others are doing well we should always say you go ahead i know you can do it that's what it counts i think a lot of time people they see other people and they they see them as competition and i don't see it like that i just see another person to be cheerful for and you know to be saying you can do it don't believe in those lies that you cannot do something i think you can do whatever you want to do as long as you know serving other people making sure that you want to help others that's what it counts Thank you, Lily, and I really believe the same, you know, I believe that everything is possible and I believe in the abundance mentality. I believe that when you help others and that you leave others, you contribute to your own success because yes. we are not here to be on our own. We are here to be together. Ah! Let yes thank you <laughs> okay hug you too yes even virtual hug <laughs> tell lily tell us about your project you speak spanish también habla español que me encanta sí sí, sí yo hablo español también uh, bueno mis planes es ayudar a otros como se llama emprendedores a que triunfen con sus metas, con sus negocios y que puedan ayudar a más personas. No es solamente a que triunfen, pero que el triunfo de ellos es para ayudar a otros a que triunfen también, que lleguen a sus sueños y todo eso. Exactly. It's when we help others, right? To yes. succeed that we make this uh, energy grow, you know, it's this change of our energies. That's the business, the business. Yes, yes. Because if you don't have a good energy toward other people uh, and, you know, celebrate with them, help them if you can help them and serve them the, the important part is to serve people then you you won't you won't progress 
You are ah, not sí, in business. Ya. You are not yeah. in business. If you, you are, are not, not healthy business. people, you are not in business. No. <laughs> And I find that too. A lot of people they say, "Oh, I want to succeed," but they are not. They are not serving people. And then the next thing you know is that they are not anywhere. After a while, well, when you are like people, they start you know talking to you. They start talking to you. Oh, come to my uh, uh, podcast. I never really thought like, oh, people will invite me to podcast. But I, when I started to um, share and and help people, then people started to talk to me to come to podcasts. I never thought that would be possible. You are so inspiring. You know, I love your faith. I love your strength. You are daily there in your show, showing up. You don't care, but you care about people with your message. You are inspiring me every day when I see you, I get inspired, I stop, I listen to the daily message. I love that you that you acknowledge the fact that you are a caregiver to your mom. This is amazing, this is beautiful, this is inspiring because today, those days, people are only showing their watches. It's all mm. about uh, bragging, And uh, I think we humans, we actually suffer a lot of pain. And yeah. this is one of the reasons because I love to empower women to become self-confidence and not to believe in gurus, but to believe in themselves. And uh, this is one thing that you are doing really well. And that's why I, I really admire you. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. I like to be real to people because a lot of times you have people who are just, you know, showing off um, just a, a picture of, oh, this is what I, I have. But sometimes just people want to be, you know, connecting with another real person. And especially now that we are not, I mean, for me, I don't meet so much people like in person. Uh, even online more than anything, you have to be real to people. You cannot be like just putting up, you know, oh, this is me, the perfect me. It's not, life is not perfect. You have ups and downs and, and I like to be real. Yeah. Yeah, life is, life is, and that's the reason because people come to us because they had problems as we spoke about my problem. And we are here to solve people's problem, and that's the reason because we get paid. <laughs> yes, yes, we solve people problems, and it is something very honorable and very exciting to do. It's not easy. A lot of people think that it's easy. It is not. It's not easy. I know that, but you do. Takes a lot of courage. But that's why I am empowering other women to be like you because, you know, you take care of your mom, you show up for your business, you serve other people, and when you do the right things, then you get uh, back from the universe because you are just doing what it needs to be done. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Um, yeah, I I will say I serve a, a great God. Uh, if you believe in God, um, that's who I serve. I serve a great God who who watches over me and my mom and he had never let me that let me down. You know? Yeah. I, I I I identify with you because I also take care about my mom and my family and I think uh, any human does. And this is something that brings us together, you know, this, this spirit of care, caregiver and, and giving and, and doing the, the good things, doing the right things. Yes, yes. Um, that's, that's the type of woman that I wanted to work with, especially women who are in business, who are caregivers to their family. That's what already 
what it was in my heart to serve. These are my women that I want to serve. Um, this is my, um, what do you call, the people that I want to serve. You know, it ha happened in my life that not only women that are caregivers that I get to have more contact with, even with men who are in that same, uh, who have the same caregiving mm -hmm. uh, spirit, I get to get along with them as well. But my focus is more for women. Um, I do talk to more women than with men. It's not like I will deny, you know, my services, but my focus is for women. And share, share a little bit more how do you help women. Share a little bit more women who had wish problem and, I, and how can you help them? Why should they go to you? Well, <clears throat> how do I help women? I help women with um, challenge design consulting. If you are a woman who has a business that has a proven offer, yeah, it works better with a proven offer even if you are new you can you can do a challenge as, as well but it will work best if you have a proven offer like because when you are new it takes longer to taste uh, i mean test your offer that it will you know it will be something that that will be uh working but if you have a proven offer you already know that your offer sells it's much easier to do it I'm not saying like easy as you don't have to do any work, but it's much easier to know the results. Like it will be easier to assemble your uh, challenge design. And that's what I mean. <clears throat> then starting excellent. from Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we can work together because you know, I work with women who don't have a proven offer, who don't know who they are, because branding is all about the identity. Branding is an identity. So I help them to find out and to unlock, because I don't tell them what they should be. They know what they want to be. <laughs> mm -hmm. So when they are ready with me, they can go to you. So as I did, I went to you, I asked for advice. Mm -hmm. And then you can must help them to master the challenge. Yes, yes. We all have different mm -hmm. parts in life. Mm -hmm. Yours will be in the mm -hmm. first part in the branding since they are brand new. They don't know what they should do. So that's, I, do, I will say kudos to you because that's a very hard, um, I think for me, even branding myself, even finding out who I serve, it took me a long time. And you are in a very crucial uh, stage of a business owner to help them to find out who they are, who they want to serve. And that that takes a lot of time. And sometimes yeah. as a business owner, you are like, I don't know, there's so many things. I want to go here, here, but but you have to go straight. And you are right. you're gonna be helping them to focus in one direction so they can know who who they will serve and the offer that they should, you know, you will be like kind of helping them out to planning that stage. Right, because I always said the mantra lies camera action you know and until you are in the action it can take even years to discover what is your business about especially in the information age and in the knowledge industry because you are the product you are the brand so how do i present myself <laughs> it's a science <laughs> yes yes i mean you are in the right path to show them to do that because a lot of new business owners they don't know they don't know, yeah. they don't know. and and it's an spe specialty you know as i came to you mm -hmm. it was not obvious for me how to master the challenge and it was amazing <laughs> to listen from you because you gave me the whole picture and it was like aha <laughs> <laughs> Yes, because we need we need another person to be able to see the big picture. Even me as a consultant, I need to go to other friends, consultants to help me see clear what I'm doing. Because we don't we cannot do things by ourselves. We can go to our audience and ask them, "Is this what you want? 
is this what you need help with? Because we might, we might have like an idea of what to do, but if we lack of direction and clarity, is this something that will serve the people that I'm serving with? It may be not. And then we have to change our course. We should be flexible towards that. Yeah, this is so important. And I think it's good that we are having this conversation and it hopefully help a lot of women to understand that we don't see with our eyes, we see with our brains. And you are good at mastering the challenge because this is your specialty. Other people are good at painting or other people are good at hair cutting because that's what they love to do. They spend time doing this, practicing this every day. And that's why the brain sees the full picture right away. I couldn't see how to master the challenge, how to lay down the step processes and, and I need a, a, a professional to cut my hair too. I need a professional to help me. You, you study this. Tell us a little bit about your experience and what did you learn this uh, challenge? Um, my experience of learning challenges is that uh, I myself, I got into my first challenge and I saw the value. I got my first win and I knew that the person who is giving me this challenge was helping me to get over my limiting beliefs. And I was able to um, get over whatever challenge that was standing behind me, uh, in front of me. And I was able to get across and I got some wins. And what I did is what I decided to buy into this person's program and I was getting more uh what do you call benefits from them who's your mentor about... who's, who's, who's your my mentor? mentor uh my mentor is pedro adeo uh, i got into his challenge and i before i got into his challenge i got to another person's challenge that he designed and i bought his uh, program and then i got to pedro and when i got into pedro i was like oh this is for me because even though for me, who is a person who didn't really have success in selling and was having a hard time, you know, selling myself, doing the challenge, I felt like, oh, I can be myself. I can be mm -hmm. just me and, and help people and give them the possibility to win and also um, go further with me or, uh, yeah, go further with the person who is, who I'm helping with in the challenge and see that they can have their uh, wins and also they can go and serve people with whatever program that you, um, they are serving with and help them to get to the next stage, next level of their business. Yeah. Yeah, this is so important and notice, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. <laughs> that you said you can be just you, and this is so important to be you. You don't need to be somebody else, but uh, clearly and very important, you need the training, especially like when you are in a new industry. Right now, we are uh, pursuing the knowledge industry and I think it's clear for all of us after the pandemic breakout that mm -hmm. business takes a different direction. It was shown in that direction, but now it's a stronger and we are heading definitely towards the, 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 the change of the industry, the age industry. We are no more in this uh, industrial age. We are now in the full in the information age, and um, you need training. You need training because if you don't know how an industry works, then the best thing is to go and look for some training. But don't waste your time. Don't waste your life. Just watching how others are <laughs> doing, having fun, and earning money, and you are just like. Mortify <laughs> thinking about saving, don't save money, is anyhow garbage. <laughs> yes, I will say, like, 
Um, <laughs> I will piggyback with you, Jenny. Like for me, investing in myself in um, in this uh, in this day and age, it was like a little bit scary. But I said, no, I need to do this not only for myself. I need to do this for my mom. I need to do this for other women who are out there. They don't know what to do. They don't have no direction. Who are who were just like me before I got all this knowledge, all these uh, roadmaps about how to follow the systems, and I shouldn't keep that to myself. It was congratulations scary. because you know what makes the difference that you believe in yourself, you know, in the person who sells all you the, the the systems and. <laughs> Yeah, you need the training, you want to know how it works so that you are faster, but you believe in yourself and that is, that is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. You too. <laughs> yes, and we empower other women to be the woman they want to be. Don't have fear. Just add in spite of fear. <laughs> yes, you should take action instead of you know being afraid because when you don't take action about the things that you learn uh it, it loses power mm -hmm. yeah thank you for being here and thank you thank you thank you gracias saludos oh. in santo domingo uh, thank you for all of you who decided to watch this uh, live stream until then it was your friend Evolve yourself. Thank you, Jenny. <laughs>